And good evening now. We're beginning once again tonight with the coronavirus and its impact on children as nationwide now. Cases among kids have surged over the last month from around 38,000 at the end of July to more than 180,000 last week. And South Carolina no different now as case numbers continue to climb. And tonight, doctors say as the fall and winter months approach, the rate of cases among children could spike. News 19's Eleanor Tabone has the details. COVID we have this year is very different from last year. COVID-19 cases are increasing rapidly among children. According to USC Associate Professor Dr. Melissa Nolan, with the Delta variant, you're infectious for a longer period of time and you can start spreading the virus well before you even start experiencing COVID symptoms. Which is why we're seeing such a rapid increase in cases in school because your kid could be exposed on Monday, could be shedding and sick by Wednesday. A study by South Carolina Strong found 30% of parents reported their child being exposed to COVID at school, daycare or at an after school program, with 20% of children testing positive. That's one in every five kids contracting the virus. Parents with a COVID positive kid are four times more likely to also test positive themselves than a parent with a COVID negative kid. Richland One is reporting 39 positive students and eight positive staff members. Lexington Richland Five is reporting 122 students and 15 staff with COVID and 804 students in quarantine. And in Kershaw County, 247 students have tested positive and 1,224 are in quarantine. This trend has continued to worsen and worsen um, over the course of the past month. Dr. Elizabeth Mack from MUSC's Pediatric Critical Care Unit says in addition to COVID, she's also seeing cases of winter viruses. I am very worried that not just COVID, but the other respiratory viruses will um, continue to uh, attack our kids. Dr. Nolan says cases could continue into the cooler months, especially with many students maskless. Other public health professionals are gearing up for a larger increase in cases over the next two weeks. She says a parent's best line of protection for their children is vaccination. Parents can't go see their kid because they're tested positive. You know, imagine if your five-year-old was in the you know intensive care unit and you can't be there to see them because you're also COVID positive. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX.